late. Are you getting going on a little car? The Olympia is about six days away. I've been on low carbs since Wednesday, 50 carbs a day. So I've done 50 carbs Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, today, Sunday. I'll do two more days of low carbs, then I'll start carb loading for the show. So I'll basically deplete for a week. So right now I'm pretty tired. Yeah, the last few days are hard. Uh, you know, basically I went to 14 weeks, five days a week, 50 carbs a day. So, I mean, I'm not gonna give up now, that's for sure. You know, whatever the outcome, you know, I, I know I worked hard. And, uh, you know, the payoff's always good for me. I, I, like I said, I use this as a business. So, with that in mind, uh, my guest appearances, my contracts, you know, I do it for that, you know, along with the fans. I mean, they support me no matter what. I mean, they see my articles in the magazine, they don't even know how I did in the contest. They don't care. They feed off what you can give them for advice, not by winning. I'm always a winner if I, if I work hard and, and, uh, and I know I give 110% all the time. Basically, I tell people, uh, you know, I'm living the dream now as far as, you know, I'm in California. I'm happy. My wife's happy. We, we bought a house this year. I think I found a home here. You know, I'm training at Royal Gym Lake Forest now. Uh, you know, really good gym for me. Stay focused. I'm guest appearing almost every weekend in the off season. Uh, You know, just always trying to get better, uh, not only in bodybuilding, but establish a life, which has been my ultimate goal from the beginning. It's not but winning titles for me. It's more to create opportunity for a lifestyle that involves health and uh, more personal well-being, which is why I started. I wanted to be better, uh, look better, be healthier. Uh, you learn a lot. And uh, bodybuilding's taught me a lot. Uh, how to be a businessman too, which is great. To handle things better in life that way. So I think that's important. Right now I weigh about 260. And uh, I plan to compete around 260. So depleting down, drop a little below my competition weight, then I'll bounce back. Carb load, thin the skin out, and uh, on we go, Mr. Olympia 2000. 14th place last year, you know. Come back, win the night champions 2000, back in May. And uh, I guess people expect big things from me this year. So we'll see what happens. I'm not intimidated. I mean, I know how I look, you know. People try to judge it before the contest. You know, 
I'll be on the money that day for sure. I worked hard for this one. The next guy can do two plates, I'm sure. He'll be happy when I leave that for him. It's not the, my best condition. I'll be drastically harder at the contest because of the low carbs. I'm very flat right now. Even though my muscles appear full, they're not pushing like they should be. The only thing that's keeping them full basically is the high sodium. And once I take the sodium out and cut my water a little and put the carbs in, it gives the muscles a different look, a fuller, much drier, crisper look, which I've been in very, very good condition since about four weeks out, so I've got to play around with the up and down carbs and what I need to look like. And uh, uh, this year it will be something else, let me tell you. Uh, I think, uh, you know, I can be one of the most conditioned guys at this contest for sure. I'm sure Ronnie Coleman will be very dry, but uh, I don't see uh, uh, anyone else being better conditioned than I will be for sure. Um, but we'll see, you know, hopefully I'll be on the money, that's all. My best ever condition was definitely at the Pro Ironman in 99. Where everyone thinks the NOC at 2000, I won, and I was in my best shape. That wasn't my best condition. I was about 240 for the 99 Ironman, and I was shredded, but just a little too flat. So the appearance was a little different on stage, but that's the best overall condition I've ever had. So I learned I have to find that in between, carry enough muscle mass, enough fullness, but be hard at the same time. Uh, because nowadays guys are pretty pretty big in the in the pro ranks that are winning, so you have to kind of be in between. And Ronnie's really the only one that has both superior conditioning, superior mass and uh, the symmetry to match. Uh, so everyone's trying to play his game, but I play my own, basically. You know, you can't do what other guys do. I know it works for my body. It's just gonna be a time factor when I get there or not uh, to figure out what works best for me. I'm not gonna chase anybody. back to traps this afternoon and some cardio and uh, tomorrow I start full body workouts where uh, I come in and train the full body Monday Tuesday Wednesday uh, just just a few sets per body part uh, basically to burn up any glycogen that's left so when I load that those carbs shoot up in there fill with the muscle and, uh, and push it, the push on the skin so you get that thin look. And uh, I'm gonna try to train actually right through. For the Night of Champions, I trained right through to Friday before the show. 
So when I get to Vegas, I'm going to try to look for a place where I can go work out. Actually, Thursday and Friday also. And uh, I don't like to change a lot. 